Hello everyone, welcome to The Famous Mommy. This is Cooking with The Famous Mommy again. <laughs> and one of my um, interesting creations, we'll say, uh, we're doing spaghetti squash today. So watch out because The Famous Mommy has a very big knife. So I'm gonna, we cook this at 450, 450 in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, that way it makes it nice and tender. I think it burned it a little bit. I burn everything, I swear. I never said I was a chef. <laughs> okay, here we go. Knife, boom, cut. Makes it nice and easy to cut into. Let's see here. Now look how the skin peels back. Now we wanna take these little seeds out. So I'm going to get a spoon and something else to put this in. Let's see here. Let's do this, we're gonna do this. Now, I'm gonna scoop it out with the spoon, all the seeds, all the seeds, all the seeds, all the seeds. There we go, we don't wanna waste too much, but there are quite a bit of seeds in there. I'll use my hands since then. Do always wash your hands. Always wash your hands before preparing food, which I do. Even if you're in your own home, it's just the right thing to do. So wash those hands, okay? So, especially when you're taking care of little ones, you wanna make sure that your hands are clean, okay? Looks like I got all the seeds out of that one. I get all the seeds out of this one. Let's get the seeds out without wasting too much of the actual food. No, I think I can use my fingers better and not waste as much. So let's see here. You can also wear gloves if you want to, to prepare your food. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna put that back in here. We're gonna switch this. Take that and put that over there to clean up later. All right, now, now we're going to take a fork. Let's take a fork. And you want to make spaghetti out of it, pretty much, like this. See how it kind of comes out real nice and easy once you cooked it in there? So here we go. Let's see here. Make spaghetti scrams. And see how I cooked it? It comes just right out, pretty much. So you can see the part where I burned a little bit. I just browned it. Not too bad though. I bet it still tastes the same. <laughs> we can always take that little brown piece out if we want to. So just in case. All right, this is a nice big one. So this will be plenty for the family. Okay, let's see. Okay. Out, mama all right step one cook and peel <laughs> there we go it's nice and cooked you can eat it like this if you want to mm. I love spaghetti squash it's really yummy mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's really good and that's with nothing on it no now what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of garlic cloves chopped up, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of oregano. I'll give you a list of ingredients in just a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how I kind of stir fry in a pan. And then we're gonna put it back in this pan and rebake it. A little bit of cheese on top. Mmm, it's dynamite. So, be right back. All right, now what I like to use is a can of stewed tomatoes. I get the organic kind, but I always want to make sure it says non-BPA lining and non-GMO. Those are the most important things to me. That's what I like to use so that we don't get as many chemicals from a canned good. I know there's still probably not good things in canned goods, but this is just a simple, easy recipe for mommies that are on the go that need to do a fast recipe. You know, like I said, you put this in 30 minutes, you know, you can leave it alone. So I'm just gonna dump that in there and then we're gonna add all our ingredients and then we're gonna stick it no, in no. a saute pan and we're gonna stir it all up and rebake it. An easy way for me to chop up garlic 
is you push on it first like that and it kind of pops the skin i've already done this but i'm trying to show you and then you open it up and it opens a lot easier and that way we can cut it and trim our garlic we're gonna get it in small little things so let's see this garlic looks a little bit old maybe i picked the wrong one at the store but like i like to do it like this you know be careful you don't cut yourself because it would taste a lot of iron in your food. <laughs> so let's see here, yummy yummies. Just gonna do that to a couple different garlic cloves and then we're gonna add that to the top of our dish. And then I will show you what else. Perfect. One thing I like to add too is you can actually roast your own tomatoes if you don't want to use canned, that's fine. But I'm trying to make a quick and easy lunch for us, something that doesn't take too much time and too much effort because I have two babies to take care of. So okay, I'm gonna add that garlic right on top. Just put that right there for in a minute. It's good just like that either. I'm just gonna um, 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 um. Mm, not really. Hold on. I'm going to show you the spices, how much I love these spices. I'm actually running low. Oregano and parsley. We want to use those. I want to use some black pepper. And where is my wonderful sea salt? Oops. Excuse me for a second. Got to get the sea salt. Here we go. Baby sisters. I love this Himalayan pink sea salt. It just is so good. It has less sodium than regular table salt so about four of that and season it to taste of course I'll put our pepper in I love pepper I love pepper I could eat pepper on everything it just tastes so good so I'm gonna put a lot of pepper on that I'll even just open this up oh, to keep it fresh so I'm gonna sprinkle the oregano and I think, oh, that's the parsley. Parsley is wonderful. So you can use all that. And I have to go to the store and remind myself to get more parsley. It's a little bit of oregano. Don't want to use as much of this, but I'll open it anyway. Not as much of that. This is a very strong flavor. All right, now that we've got that together, we have to saute it. Now I like this pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put that here take all of our ingredients and scoop it on in and we're gonna cook this uh-oh uh-oh mommy has made a mistake this is so big so big the spaghetti squash was so big that i actually need a bigger pan so we're gonna look for that oh mistakes of mommy's so maybe we have to use, ooh, we're gonna use the big boy. Shall we use the big boy? Let's use the big boy. Oh yes, the big boy. Let's see here. Put that up there. Now let's just put that in. I don't suggest wearing a white tank top when you cook because you're probably going to get it all over your shirt. So, okay, here we are. Now what we're gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil. My kids in the background playing with the doggies. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna do this. See, you don't want too much. Maybe about two tablespoons about. And now I'm going to stir this. Put it on about medium heat. Probably should put my hair up so I don't burn my hair off. And let's see here. What can I use to stir so many things? <laughs> Centea, what are you doing? You're playing with all the puppies, huh? We have a lot of rescued puppies. Let's see here. I'm just going to cook this. See, it's hard to hold the camera and do this. I don't really have a camera stand with me today. So we're just going to do our best in my pajamas still. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do, Cynthia! Oh, she's playing in the dog with the dogs and the dog food. My house is just a mess right now, but we're going to sit here. We need to stir the food. Can you see it? I'm gonna stir it all up. And then 
Once it gets nice and hot and boiling, we're gonna put it back in the pan that we had it in and we're going to bake it. So I would do this for about five minutes, like cook it. A little bit of olive oil to taste, see how it is. Another right, spice that I love in this dish is basil. So we're gonna hook it up. Some basil here. Hook it up. Oh shoot, that was quite a bit. <laughs> Hopefully that'll still taste good, but I love basil, so it's all good. All right, I think I got it to the consistency that I would like it. So I'll show you what it looks like. And we are going to put this in this pot now. Dump it in and make it nice. And then I am going to, now if you want it vegan, then this is all you have to do. And it tastes wonderful. You can also add just a little bit of marinara if you want to as well, just to add a little more kick. Uh, red pepper, crushed red pepper is wonderful. But this is completely vegan right now. Um, now what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of goat cheese. And please, I know you're probably at home laughing at me right now going, this crazy girl has no cooking skills whatsoever. But honestly, if you try the dishes that I make, they really taste good. And they're very healthy for your family. But I'm definitely not a chef and I know I could use some more cooking skills. But I really hope that you enjoy the recipes that I share with you because I think they're wonderful. It's hard because you want to, as a mom that breastfeeds and everything else, you want to keep everybody happy. I'm half there watching the girls and they're playing with the dogs and uh, it's just, it gets a little overwhelming at times trying to be super mom, take care of everyone and cook everything. So now look how much that cooked down. Like that cooked down quite a bit so that we can kind of do this. Now you can bake it, twice bake it if you want to, but if, you, if you're leaving it vegan, it's fine the way it is. Mm. I just love this flavor. You fed all the dog. You fed all the food to the dogs. Yeah, they ate it all. You're supposed to portion it so that we have more for tomorrow. You want to say hi to the camera? Come say hi. Show them say you. you, you <laughs> say hi. Hi. Oh, we're cooking. Okay. So I'm gonna put the oven to 350, and I'm gonna get out my goat cheese. Here we go. We've got our goat cheese. I'm gonna open this up. I guess it says easy peel. See how easy it is to peel. It says easy peel. Is it easy? Or is it difficult? Let's see. Open it with a knife. Hey, watch out. I'm, I'm using a knife. You don't want to be around the knife when I'm using it. And you have to be careful when mommy has a knife in her hand. When I have a knife in my hand, you have to be careful. So, honestly, I like to use at least half. It was a big one, so I can use the whole thing, but I think I'm just going to use half. Let's see here. Use half of the goat cheese. And we can put the rest of this away for later. I'm going to stir it in because it's still hot. It's going to melt the goat cheese. And then if you have a nice Parmesan, you can also put the Parmesan on top. And when you bake it, it makes it a nice golden brown, a little bit crispy, super yummy. So we're just going to stir this up into that. I think it love it with goat cheese. It just tastes so good and adds a little extra protein. But that's also vegetarian. This is vegetarian version with the goat cheese. If you want it vegan, just don't add the cheeses and you're okay. You can also use nut cheese. You can use nut cheese. I have like a little nut parmesan that I like. That's yummy to sprinkle on top of things. So we're almost done, baby girl. I know you want a boob, huh? I might actually have to breastfeed for a second. Excuse me for a moment. Here. You want a boo? Come here. Oh, Come here. You want your boo? Okay. So sometimes we get interrupted and we have to breastfeed for a minute. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do right now. She needs a boob, she said. She said she needs to eat. Huh. You said you need to eat. That's what we're doing. Don't pull the puppy. Hey, don't pull the puppy's tail. Oh my goodness. Every day my two-year-old wants to do something new and exciting that drives me crazy. So, okay, let's see. We are breastfeeding the baby. Do we're breastfeeding the baby? You want to say hi? Say hello, everyone. So we are making a yummy dish. A yummy, yummy dish. And the baby is eating. Her, she's eating. You drinking? Huh? You was thirsty? Can mommy finish finish making lunch? Yeah. There goes the foot. 
She always has the foot going. <laughs> There's always a foot going when she breastfeeds. It's like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> um, say we like to eat this way. Sometimes this puts a damper on dinner for sure because we have to stop. And a lot of times that's why sometimes my dishes aren't all the way done or my house isn't always completely clean because it's very demanding to be a mom of two babies still in diapers. And that breastfeed both of them <laughs> on demand. Yes, mommy got this. So we're gonna finish. Hold on, let me put her down. And back to our dish. Oh no! Being a mommy is hard sometimes. Everyone's very demanding. So I want to get this dinner made for everybody so the kids can eat and mommy can eat because I am hungry. I'm gonna try it just like this. Mmm. Mm. That's delicious, just like that. All right, now a little bit of Parmesan. Mm. And I'm gonna bake it for about 10 minutes or you can even broil it for five minutes. And we'll see how it turns out. And there's my shaved Parmesan. Get this nice and pretty right here. Let me show you how much I use. I don't use much. Oh my gosh, honey, I'm sorry. Hold on, I just want to finish dinner and I want to show everybody. You don't have to use much to get the desired effect either. It's still, it's nice and brown, like, and it's pretty. I love the shaved, the shaved Parmesan's so pretty. And then if you don't like the cheese on top, you can always just pull it off. It's easier to pull off that bit. Okay, so this is what's going in the oven. And I'll be right back with you to show you what it looks like after. Sorry about the crying in the background. I gotta go get my baby and breastfeed a little Okay, bit. everyone, here it is, the big reveal. Cooking with the famous mommy. Yummy! Oh, it's coming out. <laughs> so that is what it should look like. What I like to do to add a little green is I love baby arugula. Like I use it in everything. It's got that nice little peppery taste. It's great for breast milk. It's great for breastfeeding. You know, I've used it in a couple of my things. It's kind of like my staple. So what I'm gonna do is to make it pretty, I'm gonna put it all like, like I'm gonna put it, our spaghetti squash with, with uh, canned tomatoes and all the spices and goat cheese. I'm gonna make it like, a bed of greens and then I'm going to take the spoon we're just going to spoon it on here Let's see here and I just want to show you this is our dinner isn't it beautiful this is the famous mommy's spaghetti squash with arugula and canned tomato and yummy spices and garlic and all things good for breastfeeding and healthy. It's vegetarian and it can be vegan if you take out the cheese or use nut cheese as a substitute. I hope you enjoyed cooking with the famous mommy as I've enjoyed making this video for you. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos and we'll see you again soon. Hopefully I can think of a good topic to go live with and maybe I'll see you guys there. Leave some um, ideas in the comments below on what we can do live. Maybe you can do the dishes with me. Would you like to clean up with me? <laughs> we'll see you there. Oh God, I might want to try my new dish. All right, we're going to try it. Are we going to eat it? You want to eat some? You like to eat. Careful because it's hot. You usually have yours when it's cooled down a little bit. Let me see. Mmm, they're hot. Oh my god. This is by far one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I just love this dish. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Mmm. No words. It's delicious. I'm so hungry. Mmm. And this is so yummy. If you guys want some, my hey, mommy's got a dish for you too, honey. You just gotta wait for it to cool down just a little bit, okay? Here, come here. I'm gonna blow this off, okay? Let's see. Here, how about you try? Wanna try some? Careful, gentle. <gasps> Do you like it? It's super yum. Yay! She likes it. Look, she likes it. It's super yummy, huh? Do you like it? Yay, we have a winner. Even the toddler likes it, and that's wonderful. Are you ready? Do you want to try some too? Let's see if the baby likes it. Let's 
see if the baby likes it. I gotta definitely. Make sure it's nice and cool. Let's see if you like it. You wanna try some? Here, try some. Do you like it? Oh, do you like it? Oh, the baby likes it too. We have a winner, guys. The whole entire family loves the spaghetti squash with the tomatoes and the goat cheese. So I hope that your family enjoys it as much as mine does. Oh, look at this face. Yay, is it good? It's yummy. Yay, bravo. You want more? You want some more? Here, let's get her some more. Mm. Hold on, I'm getting you some more. I know, it's dinner time, right? We've been lounging in our pajamas all day today. Is it good? Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh, is it super yum? You are so cute. I love you so much. Is it super yummy? Hmm? You like it? She likes it. Well, we got ourselves a winner. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think of the recipe. I hope y'all make it. And now I'm gonna get to cleaning my monstrosity of dishes from breakfast, lunch, and right now. <laughs> Thank you again for watching The Famous Mommy. Everyone take care. Please subscribe below and give me some comments. I would love to hear your hear what you have to say about my meal and I hope that you really like it. And I hope that I can teach you many more meals to come that are wonderful for breastfeeding and breast milk and for your family, like that everyone would like, that are vegetarian and vegan and things that you can incorporate. Even if you do eat meat, you can incorporate vegan meals once in a while or vegetarian meals, you know? And um, better for your family anyway. All right, well, everyone, thank you so much again. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching The Famous Mommy and Family. Oh, what a good little eater. Is it yummy? You like it, huh? It's a little hot still, huh? Make sure you blow. Oh, don't spit it out. <laughs> Is it too hot? Oh, it's too hot. Okay, but you like it, right? Okay, good job, Mama. Ooh, is it super yummy? Yay, you like it. I'm so happy. I love making good healthy meals for you kids that you like. Look at the baby loves it too. Look at you eating it. Yummy, huh? It's yummy, what happened to your spoon? Uh-oh, I think the baby dropped her spoon. Okay, you guys can get as messy as you want because after this, it is shower time. It's lazy Saturday nighttime shower time. Yummy with our little old school Halloween plates for the girls. <laughs> Was it super yum? Are you gonna lick the plate? Mm.